Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of money, specifically how we can count money, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start simple. We have a collection of 8 coins here, and I'm just going to start labeling the coins that it's easy for me to remember. It says 1 cent on the back, this is 1 penny, it's got Abraham Lincoln on the front, and it's got the Lincoln Memorial on the back. So we've got 5 cents right there. Now these two smaller ones, it actually says, it's kind of hard to see, but it says one dime on the back. So you've got 10 cents for each of those. And then right here over on the right, we have a nickel. This is Thomas Jefferson. And the difficulty comes with now we have different nickels and it's still Thomas Jefferson, but he's facing a different direction and his face looks a little bit different. So when we're counting coins, I always like to start from the largest value and then count on by going to the next largest to the next largest till I've run out of money. So in this case, I've got two dimes. So I'm just going to start counting. I'm going to count out loud. I'm going to put the numbers underneath. I've got 10. I'm going to add another 10. That's going to make 20. My next value is my nickel. So 20 plus 5 is going to make 25. And now all I'm doing is adding ones. So I'm just counting by ones. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I've got 30 cents here. And there's two different ways that I can write it. First, if I just wanted to write it as cents, you write the number 30 and then the cent symbol, which is a C with a line through it. That means I have 30 cents. But another way that you need to understand how to do it is with a dollar symbol. So right now we don't have a dollar. So we're going to put zero dollars decimal 30 cents. Now, the trick with this is you do not put a cent sign after this. You just put the dollar sign and the decimal. And that means the same cent. So you would not put a cent sign in front of the 30 cents. You wouldn't do this because that's going to give you the wrong number. And you wouldn't do this back here because that's going to also mess you up. So if you're going to do just cents, it's just going to be 30 with the cent symbol. If it's going to be the dollar and the decimal, it's zero dollars, decimal, and then 30. And then it's your dollar sign up front. It's going to tell you that you're dealing with 30 cents. So we have another collection here and you see that we've got two quarters. So the quarters are the ones that are probably going to change the most. You're going to see George Washington on the front and then on the back, it can depend. So what you see on the screen here is one of the older versions and it's just got an eagle clutching a bundle of arrows. But a while ago, the United States Mint started putting out different quarters with different states. So sometimes you're going to see a quarter and it's not going to look like this. So you're going to have to just look at the size. The quarter is going to be the largest coin we have that we use regularly. There's going to be uh, larger coins of like the half dollar, but we don't use that very often. So we've got Abraham Lincoln here, the Lincoln Memorial. And then here's the dime again. This is worth 10 cents. This is Franklin D. Roosevelt. And so once again, I'm going to take both of these quarters and I'm going to start there because that's my highest value. So this is worth 25. So I'll start here and I need to know that 25 and 25 make 50. Adding quarters is going to be very useful. I go to my next value. So here's my dime. Add 50 and 10. That's going to make 60. And I'm just going to add ones and twos. 61 and 62. So if I wanted to write this, I can either write it as 62 cents or dollar sign, zero dollars, Point, and then my 62 cents. And finally, we have a dollar bill. So this is George Washington. This is worth one dollar. But if we wanted to start with coins, we would say that our one dollar is worth 100 pennies. It's worth 100 cents. We have George Washington again, this time on the corner. On the quarter, it's worth 25 cents. And Franklin D. Roosevelt, it's worth 10 cents. So if I'm going to add these and show you the money with coins, then I would do it like this. I would say 100 cents. Then I'm going to add 25. So 100 plus 25 is 125. And then add another 10 is 135. So I could say this is 135 cents. But most of us aren't going to say it like that. We're going to add the dollars first. So we're going to say it's this is just $1.00 decimal and now I add my cents 25 and 10 makes 35 so once your value gets over a dollar you're typically going to write it like this but you could also write it like this 135 cents 